hi guys welcome to my youtube channel if this is your first time here hello you're welcome to sew with rufus chrissy we talk fashion trends and sewing tutorials here if you have not subscribed to my channel please make sure you hit on the subscription button it's free and also turn on the notification bell in order to be the first person to see our notifications whenever we post new videos thank you i love you guys okay. so this is my cone you can see it so this is the pattern that we made i used it to cut out 12 cones because we're working on 12 cones so i cut 12 cones out and then the next thing to do is to mark you know we're going to do marking because we're hiding our bony and you know there are ways of doing this you can actually hide your bony and then your crinoline crino, crinoline and then you can use your you know you can use rigilin and crino, uh, crinoline or you use a uh, you can use double of this and then you use plastic bony you can also use a uh, cre uh, crinoline and then uh, your plastic bony depends on what and what you have and what you want to do but for me i'll be using crinoline and then bony regional bony that is what i'm using for this one because it's easy to sew and then the effects will come out nice you know i'm not supposed this one i'm just using it to you know i want you to see it that you can work you know when you're making your cones you can work with different materials because welcome you know my name is rufus chrissy and now we're working on petticoat you know you see, I do. I just use uh, the paper, the cut out pattern that we did to cut this out, and I have ten of it. You know, I supposed to have twelve of it, but because my fabric is not enough, so I ended up cutting ten panels. Now, you know, I told you I can manage it. I know how to manage it. So now, what I did here is that I measured nine inches. You know, I placed it like this. Unfold. We're still going to put it on fold like this. You know i put it on fold like this we open it up as well but the first thing is putting it on fold and then marking it out then i measured nine inches each you can see it's from here to here is nine inches then i'll place it on this place again on on the line and then measured another nine inches you can see it i'll place it on this line again and then measure another nine inches and then like that nine inches and then nine inches you can see where i have it then i'm going to open it up you can actually use marker i used pen because there is no marker so you can actually use marker now this is how to measure it out you're going to place it on this can you see it's very well on this place and then you're going to measure your nine in inches then you move it measure nine inches keep moving it nine inches nine inches can you see it nine inches nine inches nine inches and you're going to do it run so you're going to have this curve like this then you place it on the same line because you have to do it again you know you place it on the same line measure nine inches nine inches nine inches move it run like this like this and like this you have the same thing then you're going to do the same thing from here nine nine inches until you get to this place you understand this is my last line and i have here with me one two three four five so i have five lines that i'm working on so the purpose of measuring this round is that so that by the time you're connecting it with other panel the bones you know where you are putting your bony is going to fall fall into the same line you understand so that you won't have one here the other one at the other place you understand so that you can have it on a straight line that's so i'm going to use this bony which is named bony and this bony is just quarter okay it's, it's half this is half inch this bony is half inch unlike the other one this this the smaller one should be quarter or thereabouts so this one is half inch this is the bigger one bigger size this one is very big it's originally bony that is what we are using so i'm going to cut it you 
can see it and then this is how to do it i'm going to leave half space here half inch allowance or sewing allowance because if i put this to this place it will not form whatever i want this to form so i'm going to leave my same allowance here which is going to be half inch and then i'm going to sew the tip on this line that's the purpose of the line i will use it to trace this line you understand just same way that is what i'm doing so make sure that it's on this line and you see you need to trace this like you can see the line So I'm leaving half inch, don't forget, half inch. For swing allowance, that's half inch for swing allowance. I'm going to turn it like this and then sew the other side. Is the first one so I'm going to do it like this so the other lines I'll do the same thing to the other lines and this is the front you can see these are front then you see it okay so you can see now I'm done with uh, the you know the strain is strain of the bony this is my bony and you can see it the only thing I'm going to do now is that say uh, you can see this is one layer. The only thing I'm going to do is attach a bony um, at the seam here. You can see of each one. And after that, I'm going to connect each one together like this. You can see it. I'm going to connect it like this. Can you see it? You can see the, you can see the shape already. Can you see the shape? This is the shape. This is the shape. You see, this is the inside, and this is the outside. So after attaching my bone to the tips here, I'm going to do reinforcement, and then what I will do is that I will look for the midpoint, the middle point of this by folding it into two like this then i'll put bony like this i'll put one here i'll put another one here and another one here for the you know just to make it solid here that's the purpose so this is what i've done so far and you can see it okay so we have Okay, so now to make the cone, you know, is still about uh, what do you call it reinforcement because I don't want this one. You can actually put it like this, but if you check most of this uh, structure, conical flare, the structural designer's kept like this, you see, when you're working, this cone will not be able to hold each other very well. So that is the reason I want to have this one. So it's just going to be inside, you know, so that the, it will make the shape, to, uh, it will make the cone to be in shape, to make it to stand very well. Without, you can, you can see, okay. So I'm using this, this is our pattern. You can see this is the pattern that will, 
this is the pattern so i will just hold it i'm holding my materials i don't want it to be too much inside you can see this is the pattern we've been using now i'm going to place it on it like this the length that i'll be using will be equal to this length this place not this one not this mouth there not this folded mouth this mouth that's the length that i'll be using so this is the length now i have my length this is my length here okay so i'll just use pin to pin it i'll use pin to pin it I'll just use pin to pin it down. I'm fully going to pin this mask. I'm just going to pin this. So I'm going to take the form of this piece to this one. You can see it to this place. I can just take it to this place or take it to this place. Can you see it? I'll take it to this place. So, this is the place I'll first follow. Then, after this, I'm going to come out gently because I want to have like 60. And you know, we're having 10 panels. So, 6 times 10, that's a 60. So, I don't want to have more than 60. So I will just add half inch allowance, you know, for uh, half inch, half inch allowance for that is sewing allowance will be half inch. So now I'm going to move it back. Can you see it? So that I can know what measurement I'm taking. So for this very one, I'm supposed to use three, you know, if I open it, it will be six, but I'll be using four, I'll be using four instead of three. So I'm using three and a half, and then that, that should be seven, so I will have 70, and then half inch for sewing allowance, so I have four here, four inches here, can you see? So I'm going to connect it from this one. Yeah. I will hold this back like this. I'm going to hold this back like this and then connect it with this line here with my ruler. So now you can see it. I have to cut it before removing it so that it will not just, you know, scar. I don't want it to shift away from the max line. Can you see it? So this is what I have. I can just do, you measure my, you know, measure this one back, which is there. Uh, don't forget to use four inches. So this is my four inches. Is my four inches and I connected my four inches to this line. Can you see? So I'm going to cut it out like this.
apply for each panel. Then I'm going to cut 10 pieces of this. 10 pieces of this. I'm cutting 10 pieces of this. Okay, so this is how far I've gone. You can see this line, these lines that we, we did before. Not this one, this one. I used the uh, rigiling, bigger size. I used one rule for just this line for 10 panels. So exactly 10, uh, exactly one row for these lines. Then I, you know, I want to show you something. Then I put this small bony. You can see this small bony. This is my small, this is the small bony to reinforce it. So I put it straight from here. Can you see it? And then from the so this one, can you see two, three? So I put this one. You can see the way I put it here. Like this. Can you see it? So just you know for reinforcement. It's not important that you put it. If you put your plastic bony inside this one, if you use double casing, you will insert your plastic bony inside this one. You don't need to put this one. But I just want to use this to show us that it's not, it's not, post, um, it's not important that we should put plastic bony as well. You understand me? Since we're using this one, we can just leave it like this and then put this one straight up and then you put this one across like this for reinforcement if you're using only uh, what do you call it regional bony if you're using only, only regional bony is okay like this but if you think that you want to hide a plastic bony you don't need all this reinforcement just put your plastic bony it's okay to stand very well i don't want to put my original because i've been you know i've been using too much bony on this that's why I decided, okay, because this is the second one. Can you see it? This is the small original bony, the second one. You can see that it's not even much again. So for me, I'm okay with this. And then I have my 10 layers. And for the second one that we cut out, this small, small one, you know, for the inside. This small, small one that we cut out. Can you see it? This small, small one. Can you see it? We have 10 of these. Then I used this small bony for heat as well. I measured 9, nine inches the way I did to this one. Then at the downside, I had it bony as well. So that this is how far I've gone. Okay, now to join everything together, you can see that I picked this one first. This one, and this is the hope. If you think that the, what do you, it doesn't take the form of this one from here, you know, the upper side, you can just trim it off. And uh, as in, you place this one, you fold this one, and then fold this and place it on it, so, you know, to cut out the shape just like three inches two to three inches you can see is that it takes this shape both the back and this one the smaller ones inside you know we're just using it for reinforcement it's not important that you put it if you don't put it it will stay firm but when you are working you know the panels will be it soon stick it soon stick together so it'll be like you know coming out of each other so I'm, i just did this one so that it can make the panels to stick together that's the purpose of this one i mean this one inside and at the same time if you don't want to sew your petticoat separately you can just you know turn your fabric with a rider satin and after turning then you place it on this one 
then you use this one to turn it you can use fabric to make this one as well it's not important that, that you use this one you can actually put fabric at the back of this one if you don't want it to be showing so for now this is what i'm doing and i'm doing it separately now this is the first one and i'm placing this one on it this is my right face and this is the wrong face inside so now i'm placing this one on it the second one i'm going to place the second cone this is the second cone i'm going to place it on it you can see this is my right placing the second one on it this is the front and this is the back so i'll place it on the first one can you see it like this and then this is another one you can see it's this is the upper side now i'll place this one on it like this can you see it okay sorry this is the last one i'm not placing it on this one if i place it on this one this so the same will be you know inside as in will be will be here so i want to hide this the sewing now i'm going to place it at the back can you see it so that when i open it up and bring this one there won't be any rough edges a eh? do you understand it so it's like i'm placing this one on this one you can see it's two of these and i have two of these don't forget front and back can you see it so i'm going to you know place it like this the four together and i'm going to stitch it up Don't forget the Okay, now you can see it. this is two that we we had it. Can you see it? And then this is the other two. So for the next one, I'm going to hold these two together. You see what I'm trying to say? This place is now inside this one. Can you see this edge is rough edges? Is now inside. So when I close it up like this, you can see where I have it. So it will not scratch you. Whoever that is wearing it, can you see it? We have just all the same. You know, it's you can see that is there. A hidden here, and then this one will come. Here. This one will come to this place. Then I will put another layer. I'm going to join another layer to it. So now I'm going to place another one on it. Can you see it? it's going to be on it and another small one inside this one goes to the back don't forget we're having the two here this one comes to the back and this one to the front to cover this one up and we're going to sew it again can you see it we join we're joining it again and when we're through we move this one here and then close it together then add another one Now you can see the effects the effect of it you don't even need to use your hand to put it together because from the inside we don't do the reinforcement so this one keeps the shape you can see this one keeps the shape so i'm going to join everything together and you're going to stay the purpose of the measurement you know i told you you have to measure it out is that this place will be on a straight line can you see it so that by the time you're joining it to be on the street line mm -hmm. so this is what i have i will join the remaining ones and then show you the else okay so this is it i will join the remaining ones and then i will show you when i'm sure okay so this is our pentacles you can see that it's really really gorgeous and beautiful yeah i love it yes can you see it you can see that it's really good chills. You know, you can just sew it like this and so you enjoy your fabric together. Then you place it or you place it on this. Can you see it? Yeah. You know, you just place your fabric on this after joining together. 
or you can actually sew them together can you see the side view this is the side view and it's very very gorgeous you can see from the side i'm going to show you the back this one is not you know it's not heavy it's very light it's very very light can you see it from the side this is the side it's very very beautiful I'm going to show you the other side. This is our structural skirt. You can see this is the other side, and it's very, very beautiful. Let's see it. It's very, very beautiful. And now we're 